There is power in diversity, but uncovering that power has often proven to be an incredible challenge. Citizens of Kaduna State in Nigeria know that challenge perhaps better than most. Home to over 60 different and often opposing ethnicities, as well as two major and recurrently confrontational religions, the state has long experienced violence between the various groups living in its borders. The 2000 Sharia crisis, 2002 Miss World riots, and 2011 post-election riots are only a few of many points at which tensions simmering beneath the surface have erupted into full-blown violent conflict. Generations for Peace team in Nigeria has found a way to unleash the power of diversity to build peace. Through its innovative advocacy activities involving youth from 40 ethnic groups and both major religions in the region, more than half of the young Nigerian women and men have emerged from the program with expanded social engagement built upon increased tolerance and enhanced trust between different groups and religions making them better equipped to build peace and transform conflict in Kaduna states. Highlighting the best practice in the use of Advocacy for Peace programming, this year's Innovation Award goes to Youth Advocacy for Interreligious and Interethnic Integration Program in Nigeria. Equality. It is the cornerstone of respect, a key component of tolerance, and a defining characteristic of peace building. Without it, communities are marginalized, individuals are neglected, and violent conflict is ignored or overlooked. As Syrian refugees continue to move across Jordan's northern border, the need to not only see them as equals, but to treat them with equality grows ever more important. As negative stereotypes have built, and prejudice has expanded between local Jordanian host communities and the Syrian refugees who have settled down in them, the opportunity for violent conflict was escalating. Generations for Peace's team in Jordan understood the urgency of this situation. Its sport and arts-based activities inspire behavior change in participants to both build peace and pass it on. As one of the first programs in the country to implement activities that invite equal parts Syrian refugee and Jordanian participants, it has a history of fostering respect, encouraging tolerance, and transforming conflict between refugees and their host communities. This year's Quality Award goes to Jordan's Sport and Arts for Peace Social Cohesion in Host Communities program. built in proximity. Experiencing one another face to face despite opposing views, beliefs, and practices can help deepen understanding, foster tolerance, and transform existing conflict. But the setting must be right. It must be designed with the intention of building peace with the communities involved in the process and their specific context in mind from the very beginning. Across Sri Lanka, Religious groups such as Muslims, Christians, and Hindus have remained largely segregated, even nearly 10 years after the civil war has ended. This makes it difficult to counter the negative stereotypes different groups have about one another. Active since 2009, the Generations for Peace team in Sri Lanka has great track record of impacting communities by effectively creating safe spaces that foster peace building. With the Religions to Reconcile program, GFP's team in Sri Lanka has engaged youth from all these communities through sport and arts activities. The program has inspired an astonishing 85% participation rate in weekly sessions over six months, providing youth the opportunity to break down the barriers between them, pave the way for trust amongst them, and build a peace that will empower them to pass it on. 
This year's Impact Award goes to Sri Lanka's Religions to Reconcile Sport and Arts for Peace program. When we here involve and include those who are marginalized, we show respect, invite acceptance, and ultimately build peace. The Syrian refugee crisis has impacted few countries more intensely than Lebanon. Yet, the humanitarian focus on Syrian refugees has left over half a million Palestinian refugees and countless low-income Lebanese citizens feeling unheard, uninvolved, and excluded. As these feelings increase, Syrians face mounting discrimination and negative stereotyping, which often lead to violent conflict with the local communities. Generations for Peace's team in Lebanon has worked to involve both Syrian and Palestinian refugees as well as local Lebanese youth using sport and arts to foster social cohesion between and amongst groups. Through youth-led initiatives and sustained activities across the country, GFP's Lebanon team has helped to empower marginalized youth, introducing and increasing knowledge about, among other things, human rights values across all 10 communities involved. This knowledge built the capacities among participants and their communities, lending to the creation of a lasting peace amongst one another. This year's Sustainability Award goes to Engaging Youth for Human Rights and Social Cohesion, Sport and Arts for Peace program in Lebanon. <laughs>